Hey girl, we're back on Midnight Sun. Hopefully you enjoy. Leave a like. Come up below. Hi, buddy. And it would have been far worse. I was shocked to tell Tony Stark. Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay up there. You got some decent hang time. Even uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds of chainmail? On the Stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll get there. With a little help. Get where? Uh, thanks. I think you could have done better. You did a commendable job, considering you were, you know, reborn yesterday. No. I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker. It's no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. True. So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Almost the cozy. Furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Mm-hmm. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here. Other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. Oh, thanks, Brandon. Thanks for the gift, Tony. I think you'll like it. It's a limited edition. A limited edition what? Oh, you'll see. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. Shrieking of a grown man. Please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. Okay. We'll open the gift. I'm Tony Stark. But oh, hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual, private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man rule. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Go see. This is your room. Yeah. A journal. I have a journal. My old journal. Maybe it is time I start writing in it again. What's it here? There never was enough room for my arm in this thing. Okay. Do this. Yo, that's my buddy. Look normal like a human being. That old You're time. All so happy then. Yeah, let's go to sleepy. Good night. Okay. Nightmares. Nightmares. Will Walker. Is she reading from the Will Walker? And we advance. No, hold the line. I can stop her. Oh, I can stop her. Oh, hello, doggy. Harley, <gasps> get a doggy. Home. I know, I know. I, I missed you too. Let her enjoy the moment. She's been visiting your door every morning for the past three hundred years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little. You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. 
first lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. Sorry. I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. Charlie was restless all night. He should have known something was wrong. There you go, Pat. Pat the doggy. And give him some love. Alright, I'll see you later. We'll talk more later, but for now, start. No, no. Ooh, I don't get it. Strange couldn't just magic his way in. Here we go. Okay. Now, think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell, preventing him from incinerating this facility. So is it? I think we're good. And just in time. The forge has certainly changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now Babs. it all makes sense. Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, I've found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, Fashion accessorizing. Mm, yes, speaking of. Oh, right. It's ready. What's well, ready? Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Oh, well shit. Hammered, well fired. Caretaker did not mention that you two were such skilled smithies. Yep. I am Iron Smithy. Iron Smithy. You should just try it on. Another outfit. Nice. Nice one, buddy. Still think I could have used a cloak. <laughs> Need a cloak. Stylish. Talk to Tona. And we even got the size right. Not bad for our first collaboration. Yep. I still think. Here we go. I hate to admit it, but somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient, or carbon neutral? Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss? <laughs> Thanks for it. It's nice having an armorer on demand. Anytime. I tried to make this version a little less palatable to that symbiote thing. It was this close to making it menthol flavored. But tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them too. You were out, what, 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. What's your special one? This new version is a technological marvel. Impact resistant carbon composites, some patent pending alloy mesh, and a few touches from Dr. Spooky over there. And hey, the built in communicator means we can talk to each other without sending a wave. Oh. So yeah. It is a marvel, then. Lightweight, nearly indestructible, and modular enough for future upgrades. <laughs> Frankly, I wouldn't have used your old suit to wax the Mandarin's car. Okay. 
I'll be for Oh, thank you. I come back to the new world. Oh, and speaking of friends, remember David. that uh, <laughs> <laughs> Roger Soldier? Yeah, well, I know you. Let me click the video right here. Oh, I did. I pet that dog. I pet that dog. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? Now, no now. doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at ye old demon hunting school, so I'm just gonna give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it COIL for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning, but Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They are using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think you can play this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line, I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? How's it going, boss? I'm the boss. Take a look. Good. Another magic I... You're welcome, Hunter. Blade? Woo! Yeah. What else? One more blade. And my skills. Healing people. Nice. Mm hmm. Which is healing. Hunter, when you have a minute, come meet me in the yard. Alright, fine. We do in the yard. How are you, friend? New post was uh, added to the. Welcome hey, to my the story. yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? No. All right then. Give me that way. Back again. No. There we go. We're good. We upgraded. Like the way you move out there, Hunter. Guess Doctor Strange picked the right supernatural demon hunter to resurrect. I'm Carol. Carol Danvers. But you can call me Captain Marvel. Kidding. Carol's fine. Just thought I'd throw a bone to the Avengers PR team. Not gonna lie. Going a few rounds in Vampire Guy's Magic Thunderdome sounds like fun, but... We've got bigger fish to fry. Well, not so much fish as that ginormous, invulnerable sewer monster that swallowed the sanctum. The venom creature surprised me before. He will not do so again. Yeah. That thing's tougher than a flurkin' furball. You better steer clear of him and his creepy slime shield for a while. Strange Caretaker and the rest of the Funky Bunch can try and magic their way through that shield all they want. <sighs> if my time as a pilot taught me one thing, it's that sometimes you've got to find a workaround. As in Hydra, they've got to know the way inside. Steve's always said they aren't much for talking, but then again, I'm told I can be rather persuasive when I need to be. Not compared to me. Not as persuasive as I, Captain. I said you can call me Carol, and I wouldn't bet on that. You just woke up from a 300-year nap. You've never seen me go binary on someone. Binary? I don't want to spoil the surprise. Find me in the war room when you're finished here. There's a few things we should discuss. Oh, and Hunter? Welcome back from the dead. Nothing is certain these days, but these. Oh, shit. 
gamma signature is completely inverted. The daughter nuclei are being reabsorbed hey, into the parent nuclei, which is Hi, Bruce. impossible. If the gamma signature from the sanctum is really that unique, Bruce, then couldn't we just sorry, still working out a few gremlins in the system. Try sunlight and whatever you do. Wait, avoid no. oh, wait, you're being serious? Very good. We should be able to track this new gamma signature to its source, then, right? I do it myself, but we seem to be having a little IT trouble today. <laughs> Please. Old Central here is ready to grind through that data like chunk. What exactly is a Central? C-E-N-T-R-A-L. Cognitive Encryption Net Transmogrification. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Sending coordinates now. Hope your gremlins enjoy gamma spectroscopy. Ah, well, he's been a little moody lately, ever since, you know, the problem with the big old green I guy. I heard that. Banner can't turn into the Hulk? Not sure if we should be frightened or relieved. That makes two of us. Oh, hey. Come on. Happens to everyone. Well, okay, not everyone. Nice work, Bruce. I know that place. Creepy abandoned warehouse. In the bad guy part of town. My favorite kind. Anybody up for paying it a visit? Definitely. Oh. Aww. Huge. See that? Teamwork goosebumps. Find me when you're ready. Find me when you're ready. Alright, let's go. I don't need no training. What I am the training. It was just recently that the Hudson Yards developed. There we go. Do I have anything? No! I switch people. No. Alright, I did it. Trench coat, sunglasses on. Let's go. Thank you. <laughs> Gamma signatures and unstable isotopes aren't really in my wheelhouse, so we'll be patching oh, up. Oh, I'm here for battle. <laughs> so hush. I'm here for battle. Oh, Probably can scratch abandoned off the description of this place. You seeing this, Bruce? Getting all sorts of weird down there. No, 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 that's magic coming from those crates. I can feel it. Yeah? How about gamma radiation? You feeling that too? Because that's some pretty evil looking Hydra tech down there. Gamma and magic. I'm gonna need you to use your science brain on this one, Bruce. We need to approach this situation carefully. Combining those energies is an explosive proposition at best. Think scalpel. Not hammer, stealth, not strength. Yeah. I don't do stealth. Kill them. Kill them. Alright. Battle. Oh. Oh, more men. Alright, here we go, boys. Go on. His fundamental science must be sound. The device would have surely exploded otherwise after your display, Carol. Mm. Learned it by watching you, Bruce. Okay, <sighs> like for this. Yes. Oh. What? Uh -oh. Five. Time 
Time's up for these jumps. I'm getting It's weirdos like these that give people like us a bad reputation. Nice. Oh, best get best. Is that all? Ooh, I got hurt. You know you're talking to a vampire, an alien hybrid, and a demon hunter, right? Oh shit! I hope you learned your lesson. through 
a moon now? I don't have a move. Oh. Hey, that way. Okay. Now I have to end my turn. Oh, bling. Oh, no. Not how you can. Thank you. Fuck. Perhaps Faustus's device is worth further study. If you wouldn't mind, Carol, I'd prefer it if you and your supernatural associates not. Smash it. Help. Yes. I feel stronger already. Well, there we go. Well, what happened? Weak, even for Hydra. Yeah. I think they can arrest you for that in New York, Blade. Now in my turn. See you guys, hold on. Nice. Over the years, Lilith's disciples. Knock the fuck out of this one. That's a neat trick. Now, now, quickly! Let's go, go, go! They're leaving. No, I grant you come back. Ah, the perfect opportunity to field test Mother's device. Noted, Carol. Perhaps you might direct all that energy towards your newfound adversaries instead. And the mysterious cargo they're attempting to escape with? That'll help. You are lucky to still be breathing. Then what? The light is on our side. Feeling good. There. Can't really do it. Oh, she. What? Do 
doing that? Let's get too dizzy. Oh boy. There's a moving bell. Protect. Preliminary analysis of the blast confirms high levels of gamma and various unknown energies. Unknown to you. Magic at work here. We must not let Hydra escape with it. Possibly match your strength. One more time. Leave some for the rest of us. Can we move up or no? Yeah, I'm blade. That will not slow me down. Don't worry, I can take it. Blade might die. No, don't take that. Looks like they never. Oh my gosh, more people. And he still has a shield. Faustus's experiment or try to find future variance gamma signatures without a baseline resonance sample from his initial occult catalyst. Got it. Stop the truck. Alright, Blade or myself? Blade? Let's heal Blade. I need it. Okay. You have earned this. Hold on, Blake. <laughs> he literally just hit him and then just beat his ass again. <laughs> Hold on, Blake. <Blair. laughs> I told her, Hold on. Maybe you should teach me that one. Lilith has sent you here to die. I hope you are prepared. I saw a move like that once centuries ago. Centuries ago. All right, let's take out this shield. Shield is almost done. Anything I can throw at him? I guess I have to end by Blade now! Blade, Blade. Oh, shit. You must really want to piss me off. Okay, she lives. Good. Oh, shit. Dizzy. Blah, 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 blah. Damn show guy. Free force friends. I mean, you need. No oh, good. Ah, these delays can be quite frustrating, infuriating even. I suppose by now I'd normally be tromping through the warehouse, hurling the puny truck at the moon. Don't worry, Bruce. I've got a pair of torn purple pants with your name on them. 
What, I can't attack now? What? That's what I was aiming for. Your thing's locked on the box. Oh, I can't knock it. I'll fold it out. Okay, I'm gonna... Fine, I want you to... You just bleed. You can't reach me. What is it? Knock the fuck out of them. Ooh, one down. Where to go? I can't go off. What does this do? Give me the box. Where we we got the box? Finish them all. About approximately 16,342 more to go. I suggest starting with the remaining Hydra forces in your vicinity. We all there and knock that one out. Was that truly your best? Uh -oh. Move. <laughs> I think Blade goes down. Oh! No, Blade don't go down. Again. Oh! Oh shit! Blade! Shit. Revive! Bitch! <laughs> Blade go ahead. There we go. Who we gonna kill? This guy. You had your chance to kill Blaine. Now you don't. Hydra standards have fallen a great deal. Now that's an anti kill. We don't want to do that one, but um, let's do Blaine. Oh, 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 oh. Fishbone. Here we go. Now he can kill this guy. His health, his health is back up. Can just have one more? Now we're just waiting his turn. Oh gosh, I got the moon! Come back here! <laughs> oh shit. Wait, what the fuck did he do? I can only endure so much. He got him. That's one hell of a move. They cannot possibly match your strength. Oh shit. But you know. Now I'm knocking over there. Bam, he's Remember dead. It. <laughs> we did it. Motherfucker. We're done it. We done it. What is this thing? It's about to die. Bad guy stuff. I know those symbols. From the time of the first hunt. That glyph means barrier. That one almighty. Something, something. Gods and demons. So a spooky bad guy crate. Very spooky. Designed to contain powerful magic. Be careful. Got it. Don't cross the streams. Never do. How about we get this thing back to the Abbey and see for ourselves? Alright, good job, Captain Marvel. Yes! Mission complete. I'll take one star. Fuck oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Captain Marvel. Comic book. Can we see it? Ooh, yeah, I get more money. Alright, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Thank you.
friendship. Nice job out there, kid. I mean, I didn't get Hydra bombed until my tenth run with the Avengers. Kid? You do know that I'm a good three centuries older than you, right? Then you've got a lot of catching up to do. Okay, Abbey Tournament, tonight. Sure about that? Last one got a little heated. The Eternal Spirits of Vengeance take technical fouls very seriously. Especially in the fourth quarter. Forget it. Tonight is movie night. <sighs> it is always movie night. Exactly. Wow, out of jail again? Who made this game? Wilson Fisk? Well, if parking is free, clearly no one from Manhattan. You know what they say. All work and no play is how we ended up with Ultron. Come on. You should hang out. Ultron. Oh man, I don't want to hang out with you. Should rest. Another time. What? Time to cheat. Obviously your character doesn't want to Me? Oh, pet my dog. Bye bye you. Let me see. How did this work again? Oh, your dog's gone. No, where's the fuck? Where do you go, dog? You see a message. You open message. Oh god. What is it? Who's talking about fucking door? What do you want? Can I sleep? <laughs> you answered. Getting hard to keep finding ways to say open door around here. And despite what Robbie says, I don't think the staff of one speaks high elven. Blood magic stuff. Cool. I was like, where's my dog? I want to pet my dog. <laughs> Aw, is that bed for Charlie? Yes. So, if you're planning on giving me some sort of brooding code of the stoic warrior speech, I'm immune. Just ask later, Magic. From what I just saw out there, whatever crazy ancient living weapon stuff Caretaker put you through back in the day did a real number on you. We got a lot of work to do. Work? Yeah, talking to people, making friends, basic human stuff. Or quasi-human. <laughs> You're a midnight sun now. One of us. Nico, I was just hydra-bombed. I could use some rest. You and me both. Been bad dreams every night for me lately. I, uh, keep seeing Wanda. She... Never mind. I will meet you outside. Yes! I'll go nuke us some popcorn and you pick out a movie. Oh, and it may just be the two of us. The others went outside, needed to cool off. Really need to hang a fan over that forge, or maybe crack open the casket of ancient winners in it? Alright, I'm going to hang out with people all fine. Can I pet my dog? Damn it, what the fuck is my dog? <laughs> I want to shake my dog. <laughs> so, Dr. Faustus tried to drop uh -huh. a warehouse? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There, we'll watch a movie. Watching a movie. I know this entire situation's gotta suck for you. Not just the whole resurrected chosen one thing. I get why facing Lilith won't be easy. I was 15 when I found out my mother was capital E evil. What about your father? Was your father there for you when you found out? Uh, Dad was evil too. Long story, lots of drama. Um, there was a cool dinosaur. I'll fill you in later. Look, I'm glad my mother is gone, but yeah, at times I just want to hear her voice again. Some days I'd give anything to make that happen. Makes me hate her even more. I did not realize you carried such pain. I just learned to bury it. You think I can afford a therapist on a superhero salary? I'm kidding. We don't get paid for this. 
Uh, enough about her crappy parents. You missed out on decades of good movies. It's my solemn duty to fill this knowledge gap with the best examples I can provide. Oh, that's not a good movie. So, I look like you know, Red Dim and Dim Tim. <laughs> I won't forget it. So, what did you think of the movie? I understood more than I should. How? You've been dead for three centuries! I'm not so sure I was dead. Not exactly. I recall a deep slumber, not the void. I... I dreamt. Of what? Of everything. Much of this world is familiar to me. I know it from my dreams. Uh, that's not creepy at all. So, do you know everything? No, I... Think of it like this. I know what a car is, but I have no idea how to drive. You're up to date, but not omniscient. Then I'm guessing you don't know much about me. Just what you shared earlier. You're always free to ask. Like, what's the staff of one, or who were the runaways? Yeah, who was the runaways? <laughs> I had some questions about your old team. The well, runaways? Sure thing. <laughs> were you all heroes who banded together? No, we were normal kids. We saw each other once a year when our parents got together to reminisce. And then we found out two very disturbing things. <laughs> First, our parents were supervillains who sacrificed children to evil gods. Second, each of us had some sort of powerful birthright. Our parents wanted us to follow in their footsteps. What did you do? We ran, but eventually we realized only the six of us could stop our parents and their dark gods, so we faced them and stopped them from destroying reality as we know it. You know, typical kid stuff. Who was on the team? At first, uh, Chase with his mad science gear, Molly, our pint-sized powerhouse, Carolina, the solar-powered sweetheart. Gert had a telepathic link to Old Lace, a genetically engineered Deinonychus from the 87th century. I handled the blood magic, though I didn't understand it much. And Alex? Uh, well, we don't talk about Alex. <laughs> Where are your friends now? Molly attends Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. Carolina left Earth to marry alien nobility. Gert... She, uh... She didn't make it. After Gert passed, uh, Chase and I had a falling out. The last I heard, he and Old Lace are living at his family home in L.A. As for Alex, uh... He chose his side, and it wasn't ours. He died with our parents. I should get going. Uh, good, good timing. Um, looks like caretaker wants to speak with you, and wow, I should get to bed. Time flies when you're hanging out. Yes, I just want to hang out. <gasps> Work day, Using your free time productively. Oh, shut up. <gasps> Dougie, we bit. I will see if I can find you a treat later. Yeah, I'll find you a treat. Woof, woof. You're still I'm sure you'll want to rat. Yeah, Looks like you're finding your way around. Maybe making some new friends. I was planning on getting some rest, but... Things are moving at a frantic pace. For all we know, I'll be landing a jet on the roof with Mr. Stark this afternoon. <sighs> Not quite like it was in the good old days. What are they doing? I remember many sleepless nights and blood-soaked days. Always on the hunt. I'll give you that. But there were times back then I wouldn't trade for anything. With both you and... Agatha? Where is Agatha? I am sorry. I should have had this talk with you much sooner. But you should know... Agatha... She's no longer with us. What? That is impossible. She was so... Fierce. 
Indomitable. Or maybe just kind to a fault. You do not have to do this. Thank you, but I do. I haven't spoken to anyone about what happened. And more so than anyone, you deserve to know. Agatha died in an accident caused by her protege, Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch. The Midnight Sun's latest recruit, a powerful spellcaster in her own right. Perhaps the most powerful Agatha and I had ever seen. Wanda's abilities were growing. Too quickly for my liking. Agatha was determined to help her control them. I tried to caution her, but she would not listen. There was an incident. An accident, I'm sure, but... Agatha was killed. Yes, incinerated in an instant. Not even Ash to remember her by. The others were heartbroken, as was I. But I also saw the danger, the threat, if Wanda's powers were left unchecked. So I did what needed to be done. I sent Wanda away, to the Sanctum Sanctorum, to study under Doctor Strange. I know the others still harbor a great deal of resentment towards me for it. Wanda's powers were so out of control they cost a life. Your decision may have saved lives, if not the entire Abbey. I like to believe that, especially given her current situation. Ah, Wanda, Agatha, it seems we have lost them both now. I conjured a small shrine to Agatha's memory on the grounds, hoping to find some solace, a way to move forward. You should pay your respects. Maybe you'll find what I couldn't. Good night, Hunter. Woohoo! Bounce! What is this? You're supposed to follow Charlie. Charlie? I'm a doggy. Oh, it says we go here. Yeah, I'll follow, follow the doggy. Come on, Charlie. Maybe we can find something. Oh, she has a cat. Meow. No oh, she. Agatha? You always did have the most remarkable eyes, Hunter. Oh, thank you. Just like your mother's. Maybe that's why you're the first. The first? To commune with the spirits, of course. <laughs> I, is this a trick of some kind? Because I am not amused. No, it's no trick, dear. You're just the first to see me. By now you've heard I had a bit of trouble with my corporeal body. I actually find it quite liberating. You are dead. Always straight to the heart of things. That's my hunter. You seem strangely at ease about this whole thing. After a thousand years of living, you learn to take things in stride. Even death. And what have you been doing all this time? Meet me by the cave just over there. You know the one. The Bloodgate? Caretaker always told me to stay away from that place. I think we can safely lift the veil on a few more of our secrets. What's the worst that can happen? Everything. Alright. Come on, ghost. I will open it. Dun dun dun. Smiles back. Looking portal is known as a blood gate, 
And you're the only one among us who can pass through it. Bloodgate? Caretaker's handiwork? Yes, Sarah got a little overprotective after the accident with Wanda. It's become something of a habit for her. I have noticed that. What lies beyond is meant for you, as much as it ever was for her. Assuming you're up to the challenge, that is. You know I am. I do. But it's always polite to ask. Ominous indeed. Begin. There was a time when the blood stood within these celestial halls to prove their worth. This particular arena belongs to a goddess who often favored Sarah, Ashtor. Sarah? Caretaker was here? Nothing ever comes easy, dear. The Elder Gods felt their descendants needed to earn their blessings, which is why they created these trials to begin with. <sighs> trials? I should have known. This entire realm exists for that purpose. Trial by combat, with no chance of outside interference. And this is my challenge? Yes, but I may have found a loophole they never considered. Why don't you try summoning your four-legged friend? Oh. Nice. Charlie? Oh, shit. Charlie. The old gods are responsible for a great many creations, including your faithful companion. I think even they tend to forget that. Good luck, dear. Alrighty. As the goddess of balance and order, Ashtor was sometimes the giver of justice. Or at least her idea. Focus on me. Compared to our girl, these hellhounds are nothing but mindless beasts. Don't hesitate to strike. Leave some for the rest of us. I am impressed. Sarah was so fond of Ashton. If I did I would say she modeled her role as caretaker after the goddess herself. Feel my call. We did. Good girl, Charlie. Oh, and you too, Hunter. You finished this trial, but don't worry. The other gods are waiting. They're waiting for me. <laughs> I'm gonna have more beasts. 
What did I do? Sarah was right to be wary of this place. But it's your birthright, and I think after everything you've been through, you can handle it now. The two of you, as well as your mother, are the last of your kind, the blood. Your lineage follows an unbroken line to the old gods themselves. And if you call upon them, you might just find they're actually listening. They won't work miracles for you, but their blessings can be quite useful in the right circumstance. Why don't you ask the goddess Ashtor for her aid in dealing with that barrier over there? Tour guides my hand. After all this time, it's still just as beautiful as the first time I laid eyes on it. It's hard to believe Lilith and Caretaker brought this place all the way from Transia. Of course, it was no coincidence that they wound up so close to Salem. This area is particularly attuned to the forces of magic. That's why the Elder God's influence was so prevalent here. And why our sanctuary here has remained all but impregnable over the centuries. <laughs> and now I'm rambling on like an old Sorcerer Supreme. Why don't you come see me in the library tomorrow night? Oh, and... Let's keep this just between the two of us for now. I'm afraid Sarah... Uh, caretaker... Isn't ready to see me yet. Oh boy. Good night, Hunter. Aha. I can change my mind. Anything else? Oh, new clothes. There's one new clothes. What are you people they say? Oh god. Oopsie, don't do it. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. Upgrade room upgrade. What? I can't have stuff in here. It's crazy. My barrel! <laughs> okay, that's it. Ahem. Uh, is this thing on? Uh, Hunter, please come to the forge at your earliest convenience. Again, that's Hunter to the forge. Thank you. Ooh, I'll get there in a the minute. Out. Alright, uh, let's go ahead. I think that was a good enough video today. Let's see, how long was that? An hour? Yes, that's good enough video for that one. For part two of um, Midweek, and hopefully subscribe, like, comment below, and that's it. Bye!